Hello everybody, Brett here, Topo Ranger. And today we are at the Lancaster Conservancy's McCall's Ferry Nature Preserve. I think this trail goes up along the river level. I don't know, we're gonna find out. But there is a stream down there, see that? Flowing nicely. The whole wood dam's right back there. And here's the trail that we just came down. And what I wanted to do today was just walk up this trail and just check it out. There's a stream upriver of here called Oakland Run. There is a, um, I think a state game lands there. You can, walk, you can hike down Oakland Run to the river. But, um, whoa, check out this, uh, check out the, Guys, look at this. Do you see this bamboo? Um, sorry to get off topic so fast. But you see this bamboo? This is getting up to the thickness that would be nice to build a raft. It's probably an inch and a half, inch and three quarters in diameter. Anyway, if you hike down Oakland Run, to the river you are then basically looking up at the pinnacle on the Lancaster side and when all the leaves were not out I went there with my my Panasonic and I did a lot of zoom-ins checking stuff out also found out about a there were two locks that were part of the Susquehanna Tidewater Canal um, one just upriver of Duncan Run which is the next stream valley up on the York side. And there's also one just before Duncan Run, where Duncan Run spills out into Lake Aldred or the Susquehanna River. Those locks are currently underwater. So I thought, hey, wouldn't it be neat if we went there, checked out the lake, AKA the river, it's really the pool for the Holtwood Dam. And I, I'm wondering what, what exactly is going on with these things. Are they there? Can you just see them? They can't be that deep underwater. Um, and I have looked down into it, into, into Lake Aldred, right there, right at the bottom of the pinnacle where we saw all those raptors. And it looked pretty clear. Of course, that was, you know, that was a couple months ago, two, three months ago. Uh, and things are changed, you know. The elevation of that pool probably going up and down all the time. So, oh, and look here. And there's, there's the river. So as the trail comes down to the level of the lake or the river, you got this sign here. I've seen quite a few of these danger signs down around here. I've never seen one exactly like this. Water level rises suddenly with extreme turbulence. Huh. So they're probably referring to when there is a release or when they're generating power perhaps up at um the other dam up here, which is Safe Harbor Dam, which is just up the river here. So when they release to generate that's what happens. The whole thing rises suddenly. Look at this old pipe. What is that? Has a handle on it? What the heck? Huh. Here's a, an info plaque. So this will let you know here. So we're... We're up here somewhere, right? So there's a dam here. Here's the Holtwood Dam. All the islands are down here and all the gorge, gorgy, the gorgy stuff right there. Here's the buoys they have to warn boaters and also to keep people from uh, getting washed over. When water is spilling over the dam, the dam is not visible from Lake Aldred. And here is a beach, a rock beach here. Yeah, it's 
Pretty nice day, huh? And you can see the Holtwood Dam. And right above it is the uh, Normanwood Bridge. There's the power plant. This is Lake Aldred. Right here. I think that's Kelly's Run. The Pinnacles right there. Where we were watching the... Um, getting up close to the, the eagle and the, uh, and the vultures was right. Right at the tip of there. Right about there. Up there's Oakland Run. And around that, I think up, up around the corner is Duncan Run. Or that's Toby Run. Down here you have Mill Creek, Anderson Run. But yeah, here's the beach. And I see more rocks up there where Oakland Run comes out. And you know, I've never noticed, but there's a a tower in the middle of the lake, concrete base, and some type of electricity tower. I don't know, it's just sitting there, but it doesn't appear to be connected to anything. And how could I not see that from up at the pinnacle? That's weird. All right, let's continue up the trail. Actually, so I didn't get very far before I found something interesting. Right here's the beach we were just at, but check this out. There's an old sign here hidden in the woods. It says, Cable Crossing. And you see that? Now, Cable Crossing, what does that refer to? Is that electricity or is that probably high tension wires maybe? Or maybe there used to be? Obviously they don't need anybody to see this really anymore, I think. There's a big concrete um, pyramidal type of thing up right there. I wonder, let's go, let's take a peek back there. I want to get some stills too. I mean, yeah, it's, if this, I would imagine they would have to, you know, legally cut this back periodically if it was a sign that actually was relevant. Look at this, this is honeysuckle. It's just everywhere. Look at that, the light coming off the honeysuckle. All right, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get some stills of this. I'll pick it back up. So we have come to some type of big concrete pad here with a whole, a whole bunch of concrete below us. Um, built, this concrete's built right into the bedrock. There used to be something here. Um, there's a chain down there. I don't see anything else, like a tunnel or anything like that. So you gotta wonder, This maybe this had something to do with the cable sign. That's upriver, that's downriver. It's just sitting right here. I did see a couple more concrete pyramids back that way by the sign, but only a couple. I've been looking up into the woods and I have not seen any ruins of anything so far, really. All right, well, let's keep on rolling. All right, we got a woodpecker up there. I'm trying to listen to the bird calls here. Might have two woodpeckers. Trail's right here. That's going downriver. I spotted this just off the trail. Is this tree? Couldn't be more than eight, ten inches in diameter. Probably a good size for a beaver. And I'm assuming that's what did this. You can really see that. I guess would be the teeth marks, chop, chop, chop. And they got quite a ways into it, it looks like, you know? I don't think it would have taken that much work to finish the job. I mean, the tree st still seems to be alive though, in that it has plenty of leaves. 
I'm also wondering if there are cliffs right there because on the uh, on the map, you know, the cliffs go up quite dramatically, like whoosh, basically the sides of the gorge. I wonder how far inland you'd have to walk to hit the cliffs. Tell you what, though, we can tell that once we get up to Oakland Run, because once we're there, there should be a trail that goes up Oakland Run, and we'll be able to get an idea of where the where the ridge really starts to go steeply uphill. All right, let's get back to the trail. I think we're going to be there soon because I saw the rocky outcrops up ahead here. I'm seeing a little island there and also here and I'm wondering if perhaps... Oh wait, look at that. There's one. This one looks like it was completed. But the, the piece itself was never dragged in. So here's, the, here's the stump right here. Um, and there's another right there. So I'm wondering the the uh, the canal came right up here. I wonder if it's actually in between here and that little outer island there. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe we, I think we can get down down there if we go up a little farther. Here's an interesting combination of trees. Um, not sure. Can anybody ID this for me? Here's a... There's the leaf. That's what the leaf looks like. That's what the bark is kind of a light gray. And then right next to it is this... This puppy right here. Huh. They're just very close to each other. Okay. And here's a... Big old block of schist. Yeah. That must have fallen from pretty high up, or perhaps it was placed there by one of the one of the place to see mega floods that washed through this whole gorge here back in the day. And when you say back in the day, I don't mean like the 80s, like back in my day, the 80s or the 90s. I mean back in the day, like, you know somewhere between 34, 35,000 years ago, up until about 9,000 years ago. That's, that's the, the paper that I read about, the mega floods. That's, that's when they date, that's the window of time they give for those, the ice, the, um, the glacial dam break, mega floods actually happen. Let's just keep going here. I think we're getting close to Oakland Run. All right, we have a full-blown island now in between. Okay, let's go down here. In between us and the Lancaster side of the river now. Um, and here you go. There's a little one there. Pinnacle's just behind that. It looks like a pretty... Pretty sturdy island, a semi-permanent island. So the question is, uh, is the old canal here, between here and here? Is it right in this, this area right here, right? Which would make sense because it was on this side of the river and they wouldn't have put it too far out. Or is it on the other side of this island? Because that's gonna make a difference as to whether or not, you know, we can we can get into the water, whether it be on a kayak, you know, with a snorkel or, or bring down the drone. I mean, ideally I'd like to be able to look at the water and say, okay, they're definitely there. The water's clear enough. It's not too far away from shore and probably not too deep. Let's, let's just go, let's put the drone in and, uh, and see what we can find. Part of me thinks that they're just silted over, but another part of me thinks that they're probably still there. I mean, they're probably still there, but they might be buried under 10 feet of silt. Or ideally, and this would be the best, uh, the best possible outcome or the best possible scenario is that they're there, they're intact, and they're exposed. And the water's clear enough, we can 
we could send that drone underwater and uh, get some good shots. Maybe even we could do a drone and a, and do, do a little free dive and go down, get some shots. I mean, it's not going to be clear like like in the Caribbean or anything, but it's just clear enough that we could see clearly see the outlines, clearly identify the ruins of these locks because they should be pretty substantial if they're locks. You know, I mean, if you watch some of my previous videos uh, where we go to locks, you know, these are locks are usually a pretty pretty substantial construction. There's another island right up there. Let's go ahead up there. So that first island is there, and then there's another island here. And right behind there is that, that concrete tower steel or uh, metal it looks like an electrical tower we're gonna get a better shot of that over here though oh no yeah now it's getting a little bit topography is getting a little bit more robust shall we say I'm trying to get a good spot here yeah there can you see that it just to me right there I don't know if I'm gonna get a better shot of it uh, I can zoom in during the edit right there all right I can hear us what I think is Oakland run there's bedrock right there and there I mean I th honestly this whole area here is just shallow so I'm willing to bet that the canal went right up here. Maybe uh, we'll be able to see some actual ruins of the canal. Although I don't know why, if there's no lock or anything, uh, it probably would just be washed away up here at Oakland Run though, because I think that's where we're gonna be in a few minutes. Okay, I think we're here. fire pit there's a nice little cleared area right here which I'm guessing overlooks Oakland run and I think I'm right and there it is I think it's Oakland run there's also a councilman's run but I'm not sure where that is that's a pretty big stream hmm cliffs Let's see if we can get down to stream level over here. I'm seeing a shelter cave right there. Huh. I mean, we're on about a 40 foot, about a 40 foot cliff right here. Check out this big honk. It's got its own forest, its own fern forest. Looks like there might be a shelter cave under there too. I think we can get down the whole way right here. I gotta pick it up when we get down there though, okay? Because it's pretty steep. We're down at creek level now. Here's this. A 30 foot cliff right there. We were right up there. That's that big chunk we were looking at. There's the creek coming down. We're getting this pulsing water coming in and then moving out again. And now it's flowing out. It's kind of like it did up there at, a, at Columbia that one time. Now it's flowing back out. I think that has to do with the current, the, uh, the flow of the water in the river. <laughs> Here's another island. The creek water is clear, but the river water, does, the, the, or the lake water, is really not. So there's a whole bunch of these little islands right here. And we're betting that the canal came right up here, but I don't know. It's very possible that these islands weren't even here when the canal was uh, built. Well, actually, of course, the dams weren't here, the lake wasn't here, the river was lower here. So, 
right there is the pinnacle and the first lock's going to be up there somewhere here let's get around here let's see if we can let's see if we can just get across the creek maybe i can't go that way yeah i can't go that way i got to go back up back up here so we're on the mason dixon trail here Oakland run looking pretty good up there got some mayflies nice cool breeze big chunks of fish. let's head up a little bit and see if we can't spot anything worth coming back for because I can't do the whole Oakland run hike today <clears throat> but let's go scout a little further This looks like this is an actual piece of the original, uh, the original stream, whatever was here. Like a little uh, rock cut, water worn. See that right there, that curve of the original, the original bed of the uh, of the creek. As you can see, there's for the most part, it's all just these large schist boulders. But this is actual bedrock right here. There is a little shelter cave here. It doesn't go back very far, but it would give you a little bit of a a little bit of shelter if you were right here. This is bedrock too, so this is part of the original uh, stream canyon or a little mini canyon. I don't know what you want to call it. You can see it right there. That's bedrock. So keep in mind if you're down in this area and you're uh, you're hiking up these uh, streams that come in, they drop down pretty steep but we might be 40, 50 feet off the river right now. These, when these mega floods rolled through, the river was, you know, 200 feet deep. I mean, we would have been, we could have been under 150, 200 feet of water right now. I mean, the water would have been, you know, lapping at the tops of the ridges here. That's how, I mean, that's how deep it would be. And it would be churning and churning and huge currents, even in these little side eddies here. As the main flow of the flood came down the Susquehanna, it would have spit off, uh, parts of the flow would have been sliced off, whipping up here, swirling boulders, huge boulders. I mean, it could toss boulders like this, nothing. Boom, boom, boom. Surface of the water would have been way up there. So I think that these potholes that you find up off the river, when you follow the streams up, I, 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 th I really think that those are remnants like the ones down in the river those are remnants uh, from these mega floods because there's no way a stream this size, even a stream this size at flood, at flood stage, with water raging down here, still would not be have enough power to form these potholes. So uh, this, whole, this is all be underwater. I mean, it's crazy to think about it, right? Yes, this is very much, this is like a York County version of Tuquan Glen, Kelly's Run, stuff like that. I'd love to see some Toby Run type of stuff with the canyons and the overhangs and the, and the, and the caves and stuff, but I have not seen anything like that so far. I've heard good things about Oakland Run in terms of the hike. There is a, a spot up, up that way where you can park, I think it's part of a state game land, I think. 
um, all up and down this side of the river, uh, game lands and parks and whatnot. So, again, we're not that far above the river here. Hike up the trail as soon as it cuts into the follows the stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it right here at this nice little pool. This would be a great place to come, relax, not too deep. A little beach right here. This would be a perfect place to do it. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop filming now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna scout up ahead a little ways and see if I can't uh, turn anything else up that make me wanna come back sooner rather than later, okay? As always, loved having you along. I went right in there, boom. Slammed my knee. Ah, that was that's pretty hard. Look how wet I am. Gotta wear my hiking boots, man. I just wore my regular sneakers. That's the kind of stuff that happens, right? I got I got water in my glass. <laughs> all right, I gotta I gotta go dry off and uh, check out what's ahead, all right? As always, love having you guys along. This is Brett for Topo Ranger. Signing out. <laughs>